they, the comments say that I don't know how to light a cigar. I'm just too close. Is this, is this good enough? This far? Or closer? No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. It's not, it's not doing nothing. No, you have to be patient, Zach. You have to be patient. Stop. It's not, it's not doing nothing. Stop. I'm not doing nothing. Is that good? Just like that? Stop. <laughs> it's good. Keep going or stop? Oh, oh, oh that's way too close. Oh, okay. Oh, my bad. Holy cow. I wasn't looking. I wasn't paying attention. You are tuning in to the Cigar Guys podcast where aficionados and newcomers alike gather to explore the vast cigar universe. Meet your host, Alexander Gonzalez, Mark Nikolai, his big little brother, Zachary Nikolai, and Jared Burroughs. So sit back, light up, and let's get the conversation started. Welcome back to another episode of The Cigar Guys. Today, episode 69, we're talking about weird cigar me- wow, weird cigar wow, memes, wow, weird cigar wow. names. You know, 69, favorite number, not related to cigars, but anyway, we're going to continue. So, weird cigar names, huh? Are you smoking any weird cigars right now? You're probably smoking the weirdest, I think. Out of the bunch. I'm smoking the Liga Pravada Feral... Flying pig. The cigar is feral. It's yeah. disgusting. Yo, if they're not feral, Ew. I don't want it. I can smell it from here. <laughs> it's actually a really good cigar. Uh, $22 price tag. Oof. Bit up there. But I did it for you guys. Uh, I'm the only one in here that committed. To be fair, it's kind of hard to get a weird cigar name from the store. From our store, yeah. We had to, do, we had to drive 15 There's minutes a few. if we wanted to. I suggested you pick up one for me. Actually, that is a weird one. Yeah. If you think about it. The Woody? No. no. That one's good, too. That, 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 that was pretty one. good. That, that would have been pretty good. All right. Let's not get too hard ahead of ourselves. Yeah. That's on the list, so it's a, we could talk about it. Right. So, the one that... We'll talk about yours real quick. You requested an Arturo Fuente curly head, which is going to lead into our first bunch. So, we can talk about that Yeah. real quick. Great cigar for five bucks. We smoke it quite a bit. And it's a weird name, obviously. Curly head. That is kind of a weird name. I, I guess I never really thought about it when I'm smoking it. You We've know? normalized it. It's not weird anymore. Yeah. It's What's not weird here. enough for you? That, I mean, there's some weird ones on this list. You don't like a good old curly head? Four ninety five every time. I wish it cost that much. All right, let's get into it. A Toro Fuente. Would you say they're the king of weird names? They're the king of raunchy it's names. That, yeah, I think they're the weirdest. I say second is Room 101, but we'll get there. Yeah, Room 101's got some... Got some crazy stuff actually there's one that i'm gonna bring up later on uh it's a boutique brand but they got they got some weird names there's some weird ones out there you're gonna find out number one on our list uh, it's a little weird i don't think it's crazy weird though the toro fuente opus x chili pepper um you know it's rolled in the shape of a chili pepper known for his intense flavors and high price tag these weird names they gotta have high price tags 30 bucks yeah 30 dollars and that's retail who knows what they're selling for right now? Yeah, I mean, they could be going for 40, 50, 60 bucks. It is pretty cool, though. If you look at the picture, it's kind of like this, but the very end is curved like mm. a little pepper. So that's why they say it's shaped like a pepper. Is that the end that you cut off? Yes. Yeah. That'd be cool if they had that as like the starting point. They should do both. So it's like fat and curved on the, uh, the, the head, and then the foot is like kind of like a thin little, you know. Next time. Next, next time, time, next time. Get on it, Carlos. All right. Well, next one by... Zach's like, who's Carlos? Fuente as well. You have the Opus X BBMF. If you don't know what that stands for, it stands for Big Bad Motherfucker. It right. does. It's cool. Scar remains highly sought after uh, for its unique shapes, intense flavors, and limited availability. And this was another expensive one. This retailed for 125 But then again, any Opus X... Is gonna retail for a lot. Insane, insane. I, and I don't. I think it's a cooler name. I don't think it's too much of a weird name either. Yeah, but I guess it's weird as in inappropriate. Yeah, yeah, you know for sure saying? inappropriate. Yeah. But that's, like, that's inappropriate. Can you please do the next one? I know. The, the, <laughs> Let's not rush this list, Jared. Let's yeah. take this all in. Listen, I'm yeah. being honest with you. Like, I wasn't a big Opus X fan, right? Until the next story one. time. Until the next one. The next one. 
you know. Which I would argue the next one is probably the weirdest one on the list. I think so too. This is definitely very raunchy, very trailer park, shall we say? Did you bring one on the show? No. <laughs> and you're gonna find out why I didn't bring one on the show. Okay. Did you bring one on the show? I just saw this list for the first well, time. It, the next one wasn't even released uh, for public. It was like a it was a private thing. Mm, was it? That makes sense. Yeah, that's why it's so. I, w- I would give my boys this if they asked for it. You know. <laughs> <At> a, <laughs> okay. At a price tag, a resale price tag going on for five hundred dollars now. Put in the comments what you think it is. Three, two, one. The Opus X PJ. What does PJ stand for? Peanut butter and jelly. Yeah. <laughs> Pussy juice. <laughs> what? <laughs> so it stands for. That's yeah. probably the raunchiest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> that, is, that is a wild name. That's, that's a wild name for a cigar. Imagine some guys sitting in a cigar lounge sucking on. Uh, never mind. <laughs> PJs? <laughs> now I can't remember the word for me. Uh-huh. Oh, the acronym. <laughs> I don't think I'll ever eat a peanut butter and jelly the same. Imagine being at the lounge, you're like, hey man, what are you smoking? And he's just like the Opus X pussy juice. I mean, <laughs> excuse me? <laughs> okay, nice what, did, what did you say? Are you fucking with me? <laughs> I don't, I don't want to know what you and your wife did with that cigar. <laughs> Otherwise known as the Monica Lewinsky cigar. It's, oh, okay, yeah. So is that what it's known as? Yeah. All right. Maybe. Is it? I feel um, like it is. I think oh, so, fun yeah. fact, actually. I learned about this when we were researching weird names. Uh, the cigar of Bill Clinton's choice while he was getting some dome, was a Gurkha. True. That is true. Yeah. Supposedly, they made like a limited thing. I was of, trying to find it. Yeah. I couldn't really find like, it. Named a, a cigar named Monica Lewinsky, but they, I couldn't find anything about yeah, it. I'm sure supposedly, it, they made one. I'm sure that, that probably got hushed, you know, yeah. by the great old U.S. government. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that whole situation, they tried to hush. And then he admitted after. Well, he can't... He didn't... He couldn't confirm or deny it for a while. For a while. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't do a great job of hushing it. All right. Another one we got. Another Eternal Fuente. Um, this is Jared's personal favorite. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is the Rare Pink Sophisticated Hooker. It's Man- actually a lot cheaper than Man- a previous cigar. Man goes to Vegas once. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the name refers to a, the name of a fishing boat, Hooker. Okay. Yeah. Being a term for fishermen. Mm-hmm. That's what they said to clean it up. Yeah, and uh, that <laughs> the Turo Fuente owner and Blender remembers from his younger days. So you tell me that he remembers a boat from his younger days. His name is Hooker. Hold on, guys. Uh, all these technical difficulties. He finally caught one on camera. Anyway, what were you saying, Mark? I'm just kidding. So yeah. The sophisticated hooker. At least she's sophisticated. Yeah, for sure. And you know, he's talking about an actual hooker. He's not talking about a boat. Yeah, but that's a pretty good cover story for when you need to clean it up. Oh, for sure. He's like, what do you mean? What do you mean, babe? I'm talking about a boat. <laughs> you know, like fisherman, like a hook. You're a hooker. You hook fish. It makes he's, sense. He's like, you know, you know I love to fish. And she's like, I've, I've never seen you fish. We've been married for 30 years. You know? Yeah, but you know I used to. <laughs> I used to fish, you know, when, it, when we first met. You remember that one time I went fishing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was before cameras were invented. <laughs> There's no physical evidence. Just my word. So, I, I honestly think a turtle fun takes a cake for this one, but we'll, keep, we'll go on to the next. Yeah, I'm sure there's, there's plenty more, but uh, it's hard to put a big list together all by yourself, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> hey, I can't prepare today. Okay. All right. Uh, so no Toro Fuentes right. on your secret list. No. Okay. No, mine are all like. I mean, there was, but it was on this list already. Yeah. All okay. right. Next, we got the <laughs> products by Drew Estate. Good old Drew Estate. Also, some interesting names. Not as raunchy, but yeah, just a little weird, weird, I guess. Yeah. I don't think I've had this one. I've spoken the League of Nine plenty of times, but not the number nine flying pig. I feel like I have. I don't know why. I made you get it for some reason. Yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. Just it's this basically show. this, but shorter. It's probably like a four inch instead of a almost six inch. 
you know, a little more, a little more manageable. <laughs> <laughs> it is shorter. It's fat, and it's a little stubby. But we love them equally. Just like a, a pig, I guess, right? Yeah, the flying pig. Yeah, because yeah, they've got the little pigtail on the the head there. You mm-hmm. cut off the pigtail. Yep, and you know it flies when you're going to smoke it. Exactly. <laughs> I think it like the smoke flies. I think that's a, that's a joke. Does it have a good uh, pork flavor? They dip it in <laughs> pig lard. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, short, fat, stubby shape, but rich in flavor. Very unique. Much like this one, but this is the feral flying pig. Mm. It's a feral pig. Or I don't know. It's crazy. The feral pig. Is that pig. pork infused flavor? Like, you're giving them names right now. It's like um well it's very it's very oily, so Ooh. it's like so know, the lard like bacon grease, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. That makes sense. Makes sense. Next we got the Liga Nasty Fritis. It's a cheap, weird cone shape. Uh great job though. Great smoke output. It's a great job. It's, it's not nasty at all. It's like five bucks. I don't think it is nasty. I saw a bunch of people commenting. They're like, oh, the Papa's Fritas is better. I'm like, nah, bro. Something nah. about that nasty Fritas. Oh, yeah. Just makes sure. me, mm, six, I, five, six bucks. And I, I like the shape. The draw is just phenomenal. That's like the main reason. Yeah. But yeah you smoke it either way, right? You smoked it. I smoked it both ways. Yeah, I swing both ways sometimes. When hey, it comes to cigars. Yo, when hey, it comes to yo. cigars. Hey, yo. Episode 69. We can, we can talk about whatever. This is a special occasion. I didn't think we'd make it this far. Cheers to that. Where's our drinks? Is this, Al- is this Alex coming out of something? <laughs> I thought that there was it the- is. There it is. There it is. <laughs> I knew he was acting weird during that breakfast, you know, cigar. I let him sleep over one time, and this is how he comes out. <laughs> anyway, Jared, where's my scotch? <laughs> I think we're all out. I don't think Jared's. We got rye. I think Jared's blind, not just colorblind. Do we have over here? Oh, it's right there. No, it's it's right in front of your Yeti. Couldn't see it. Which one do you want? Anyway, so my boss watched our episode, uh, our morning episode, the Cigar Guys. Oh yeah, I like watch, it. Did he watch it in the morning? I think he did watch it in the morning because he messaged me in the morning. He liked it. Shout out to you, uh, Dustin. Um, yeah. Anything else? Yeah. He said. Uh, <laughs> uh, he said. There's like a long pause there. <laughs> he said he said mark was a little quirky because of the because of the glasses <laughs> the eclipse glasses <laughs> and then and then i forgot which one he said he said either you or jared would like antagonize me or something it's probably you i, I yeah i feel like i am the antagonizer but more on camera you guys are antagonizers off camera like I, like I would say something and then someone would be like, nah. <laughs> I forgot what I got everyone. Episode? Yeah. Or it could have been a different episode he was talking about. He watched a few. The I only, was just say I don't remember that. That, was, that, sounds, was, like a, that sounds like an Alex thing, though. The sure, only antagonizing yeah. like, comment that we had on that whole thing was, I was like, man, this coffee's a lot better this time. Oh, yeah. That it was, was. That's what it was. Yeah, he was talking about you. Yeah. Yeah, Mark. He was talking about you throwing me shade. I didn't even know who made it. Oh, my mom made it. Yeah, my mom. Well, I, don't know. I guess technically I was throwing shade though, because I was like, that's why it's better. Yeah, both of yeah. you guys. Both of yeah. you guys are coming yeah, out. I was trying to take the credit. I thought you just right. gave me the credit. Look at that. Yeah. I was trying to save you. I was always trying to take the credit. All right, fine. Jared, you're the asshole who's no, no, antagonizing. No, no. <laughs> oh, now, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyways, yeah, we, shut your mouth. We, 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 we got to do another conspiracy episode, have him on here. You know, we'll talk about Sasquatch and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah. He's yeah, going to do it. Skunk Ape, yeah. I think you'd want to do it. I have experience with hunting Sasquatches. Comment below if you want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me in person. Just comment below. <laughs> oh, Leave no, like 10 comments too. When we were at uh, Cigar Hustlers, you know, they had the smoking like Sasquatch or Skunk Cape or whatever it was. The I Sasquatch. Said, yeah, I sent it to him. He's like, that's fucking awesome. <laughs> we need to get that statue and just put it like. And he actually smokes a pipe. Right, mm. so like, I was showing him, <laughs> I was showing him the pipe, guys. <laughs> He's like, "Oh yeah, that's terrible." <laughs> First time, first official time. At least in that show, I last like forty minutes of smoking pipes. I'm not gonna lie. Before we did the episode, me and Alex were playing around with it, and I had one going for a while. We were doing pretty good. You guys were playing with your pipes. I, th- I think those are just cheap pipes. <laughs> like I think once a seal broke around the metal, yeah, for sure. Like it was just mine like, was over. a good pipe. Well, mine was doing decent. Mine was doing no, decent. No, it better be. It was like a hundred and something dollars. Damn. 
Your pipe? My no. pipe. Oh, yours was? Honestly, I heard the corn, like the corn, corn pipe. pipe. All right, they're pretty good. Really? Yeah. Nice. All right, back to the list with Jura State. We got the Liga Pravada Nasty Free. We, we, we just said that. Oh, my bad. Oh, I lost track. <laughs> we got the Fat Bottom Betty. It's a sweet tip cigar. I, I love the name. Your fat Bottom Betty it is. It's got to be a sweet tip. I feel like that's like it, naturally yeah, a sweet tip. Yeah, well, Betty's usually got a fat bottom, so it makes <laughs> sense. <laughs> you know, listen, put some sweet corn on there, you know, some <laughs> some butter. I don't know. On the cigar, I mean. It'd probably make yeah. it better. Have you ever smoked it? No. Yeah. It's okay. I'll get you one soon. Well, we got the next on the list. It's called the egg. It's literally shaped like an egg. We got a box over there uh, right behind you, Mark. Everyone smoked it. Have I smoked it? You smoked it. I feel like I have. It's just non-memorable. It's not, it's not that great of a cigar. I didn't think it was that bad. It's not that bad. Really? Yeah. So did you and I smoke it at that No, it's you or? and me. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I don't know if you have smoked it. Let's I know I have a box. Juice. That's only like, but maybe it was just the box of Mark Brown. Why don't we buy you one tonight? Yeah. If they have, oh, that's what it was. I was mm-hmm. going to smoke it, but they didn't have it. Yeah. They only carry like one or two at a time. Yeah. yeah. They and usually sell out too. Well, well, yeah. Cause you guys bought the two. Oh, oh we have one on the wall that. right too. Yeah. <laughs> one on the wall right well, there. We got too. one from Matt too. That's right. Yeah. I think one. Matt smoked, and then one Jared smoked. That's why we have two boxes. Yeah, here at this location. But we we smoked two before at uh, it was a pairing event. We're the only ones. Everyone else is smoking a Davidoff, and you're smoking the egg, and everyone's like, "What the fuck yeah. are you smoking?" <laughs> I feel like I remember Davidoff. that. I feel like I remember that. Yeah, yeah, but it's called the egg because the center is very large, like an egg. Makes sense. Makes sense. Yeah. Does it come from a chicken too? Which came first? The egg or the cigar? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely go look up the egg. It's a very interesting shaped cigar. I think that's the weirdest shaped one that we have on the list, too. All these others are mainly names. This one's like legit a weird shape. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is a weird cigar in general. What's the name of that one cigar that you smoke one time where it's like three cigars like intertwined together? Oh. Like a cub- Culebra? Okay. I got to try that sometime. Yeah. I think Mark's the only one that smoked all three together. Yeah. You're supposed to smoke it individually. It's not that good together. Uh, yeah, it's probably a pain to smoke. And then it falls apart. Yeah. Yeah, so, I, would, I would recommend smoking it. Not too fun. Yeah, next we got uh, this. Real quick, from Drew Estate, I accidentally put it at the bottom. Uh, they have a line of cigars that's called the Muat, which stands for My Uzi Weighs a Ton. So nothing really weird about the cigar except the name. They got a bunch of different sizes and stuff. They got they got some pretty big ring gauges on that line too. So uh, if you're looking for something fun to post on social media, that might be one of those. But yeah, sorry, Mark. Go ahead. Oh no, you're good. Uh, next up on the list, we have uh, <laughs> LFD. That uh, double Lajero chisel, and it's named for its chisel-like shape. The cigar also offers a strong peppery smoke. Yeah. So on that one, the foot is like flat, like a chisel. Whoa. Almost mm. like a, a pipe wow. mouthpiece. Yeah. yeah that's, oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah. I haven't had one. Maybe one day. I could have bought that one. They have it at the. But the name is not that. Yeah. The name is not that weird. That's why I didn't think about it. Yeah. It's not that. It's a weird shape. It's not a crazy name. The next one is. Interesting name. Nas. Not to be confused with. Nah. The rapper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that stands for nasty as shit. Nasty ass shit. Nasty ass shit. Yeah, it's in the name. Straight. I feel like I've had that one before. <laughs> Ligero. Yeah, straight Ligero. Everyone in the comments is going to freak out. How do you pronounce it? Ligero? Ligero. Yeah. Ligero? Ligero? Listen, I already got, I already got shade on at work today. For not knowing how to pronounce words. So this is just a you problem. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I think Zach knows how to pronounce words sometimes. He just chooses not to, you know? I yeah. want to see if people correct me, and that's how I know who I could trust. Actually, it's Lajero. <laughs> Are you going to tell us the story? Of me at work? Uh, yeah, I had, to, uh, I had to read a lot of, like, you know, like, 
kudos i guess like good job to me good job it was mainly just about me so that's the problem like, the problem is you can't read zach's like i had to read a lot of kudos and kudos. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's making fun of me they're like sending memes in the chat like yeah. me <laughs> tracing it with my finger you know someone sent me like you know pronunciation for dummies or something you know? <laughs> yeah, it was a pretty emotional day today <laughs> but what's crazy about this cigar is you know they use lajero like just a lot of lajero so it tastes really bad but we've had a cigar that's made with 100 percent lajero it's actually a really good cigar but shout out to z from cordoba morales for successfully making a 100 percent liga lajero. Liga, lajero cigar that's actually good what yeah you, you spoke that for a while yeah, he bought I, like a box. I love Legiero. We gotta, <laughs> <laughs> we gotta go back so I buy more boxes. What, what was the name of that cigar? The Nika Reaper. Yeah, it was really that's good. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> the C Nicaragua Reaper. I'm just gonna nip that in the bud right away. <laughs> Who we got next on the list? We got Matt Booth with Room 101. Room 101 got quite a lot of other cigars with weird yeah. names. They do, yeah. But we wanted to highlight the who shot you. <laughs> Are you okay, Jer? Who shot you? <laughs> trying to read. <laughs> mm-hmm. At least one of us can. Sorry to mean to hit you that hard. What yeah. words did you mispronounce in front of everybody? Jared's still thinking about that. Jared. I, I know. I'm, I'm stuck on. I just don't. Can't, can't even tell you. It was like yeah, was classified. Exactly, he was just in the moment. <laughs> it was just like I don't know. I, I was. It's. I, I, I'll tell you how to spell. It was like P I G N A M. I think. P I G N A M, something like Pignum? that. I, that's how I said it. <laughs> that's how I would say. P nine. Zach's like, Pignum. Is it? Is this a typo? <laughs> <laughs> I literally, that's how I'm like. I stopped and just like, I think I, I think that's how you spell it. But yeah, I stopped and read that, and then uh, I'm like, I don't know how to say that, <laughs> and then someone corrected me. <laughs> anyway, who shot you? That was a good cigar. Real quick, Jared, any other questions? No, the next one's actually really funny. I like the next one. He likes you want to say it? Very, he likes to skip. I'm just reading. Like, Jared, Jared only smokes these cigars. Not only does he speak really fast, he reads even faster. Yeah. Jared actually... It's actually pretty true. He only smokes these cigars around girls. That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I've never See, heard of this cigar. Jared, if you want to... All these... All these all, if you want to uh, say the name of the next cigar. All those TikToks of spilled pasta... And uh, mm. of yeah, you remember those? You remember yeah. those? Back yeah, in the day? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like or oh, writing uh, in the sand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do remember that. Yeah. Oh, someone wrote something nice in the sand. That's that was uh that was actually for this cigar. It was an advertisement for the cigar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jared? That's very subtle advertising. I like it. So the name of the cigar is called Sind Nudes. <laughs> very oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, Jared. Yeah, Jared. What, what do you what do you want right now, dude? We're on the Jared's podcast. at the lounge. The bartender walks by. He's like, Yeah, I'll take a. Uh, <laughs> Send nudes, what is please. This? Uh, anyway, yeah, <laughs> okay. I'll take a um, the Belvini twelve and then um, whoa, 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 Belvini to, to twelve. Pair. Sorry, <laughs> Belvini fourteen with my uh, cigar 18. that I'm smoking here. Can you read that by the way? I can't read. I can imagine Jared going to like some, you know, cigar lounge in like New York City or Michigan or something, and be like, oh, what can I get for you? And he's just like, send nudes, send nudes, please. And then they're like, what? Excuse me? He's like, send nudes, please. <laughs> Can I get that? I just want to send nudes. I don't understand. <laughs> Going to the shop. How can I be today, man? Yeah, send nudes, please. Can I get some send nudes? <laughs> Yo, yeah, where can I find this at? <laughs> I, I can see that happening. <laughs> he's a little like, mistake. He's like, well, I'm going to need your number. He's like, I don't know why you need my number, but like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Loyalty program? or is that, uh, That's cool. If, if Jared ever gets banned from a cigar lounge, we know why. It's because he was asking for nudes. <laughs> Actually, um, our buddy is on the cover of the cigar. It comes in like a like a pack, and on the cover is cigar prop. Oh, is it really? Yeah, I didn't even know that. I didn't yeah. know that either. Yeah. You didn't know that? Yeah. Shout out to cigar prop. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <coughs> Make sure you that check out. That definitely suits him. Yeah, I like it. This guy really out here asking for nudes. <laughs> no, 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 the cigar. But yeah, yeah, that's a funny one. Matt Booth's a funny guy too, so that's part of the reason why some of these names are entertaining again not nearly as raunchy as the previous ones but still funny okay let's see what do we got 
This one, I don't even know. I just threw it in there because it was on the list. Uh, Zach, you can go take this one. Damn. <laughs> 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 we have uh, the... <laughs> Uh, the R R Jill A bomb. I say it. I was thinking Argyle. It's Argyle. It's, <laughs> God damn it! I was gonna say that first. <laughs> I thought you guys were tricking me. The Argyle A bomb. Uh, oh my gosh! Let's Ooh. see if you can read the sentence after it. Uh, not not able for. <laughs> <laughs> that is uh, notable. I I know. <laughs> Uh, notable for its exaggerated size, intended for a lengthy, wink, smoking session. Uh, I'm guessing a bomb stands for atom bomb. You know, it's big, Good busty, job. busty, explosive cigar. That's it. I don't know. Zach thinks atom bomb is thick. <laughs> yo, yo, it'd be thick, bro. Sane. Um, and when it finally hits, huge. Next, huge next load. The next one is by Caldwell, and I think we've all gotten this at least once in our life. <laughs> oh, not me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Speak for yourself. This G- video's, given, not this video's got to be taken down. <laughs> you, you, know, you know when... These are all cigars. You, you know when you're trying to get some and it just doesn't work out? So then you got... I don't, I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. So then you got to go... No, I, I don't know. Please explain. Then you got to go to the lounge and get a swollen cock <laughs> by Caldwell. Cigar, cigar, cigar. <laughs> It's a cigar. It's the name of a cigar. Then you get the Codwell made a cigar from the Lost and Found series called the Swollen Cock. Cigar. Cigar. <laughs> the transcripts are going to be wild on this one. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it features, it makes sense because it features a rooster on its branding. Uh, it makes sense because it's emphasizing the playful take <laughs> of, of unusual, the name. Of its you know, unusual name. Of, of its un- <laughs> I will say too, there is a cigar out there. It's more of a boutique brand. But it is... The name is literally BBC, which you know what that stands for. You mean the news network? Cigar. No. <laughs> Not the news network. Big Black Cigar. Yes, that's what it stands for. Big Black Cigar. And it also has a rooster on the front. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. Yep. I thought you were going to say something else. <clears throat> the next one is um, something that may have happened to a couple people. Definitely not We've me. all had this one, but maybe this next one, only a few people. <laughs> Depends how many bars you go to. <laughs> <laughs> Mark's we, definitely had a few of these. <laughs> we got the Punch Sucker Punch Face Smash. <laughs> That's that, a handful. That you read right. Is that, is that like a like punch? You punched, then you got a sucker punch back, then you f- face smashed him? Is that what it is? This is a story. We're not. It's we got to read between it's, it's the lines. A, it's a. It's a um, commentary of a fight. It is like they're just missing some commas, some punctuation. Which yeah. I'm not the person to say that. You know what I mean? But like, yeah, that's what I like about this cigar specifically. It tells a story. It does. Just it in does. the name, you don't even have to read about it. I mean, you know, it's like punch, boom, sucker punch, and then sm- was it smash face, face fat, smash, face smash, boom, face smash. This is, I'm pretty sure I heard these exact words on the UFC fight, the last one I saw. Exactly. It's a bold and aggressive, just as its name suggests, it suggests you, can suggest. <laughs> Zach, you're done reading. No. Anyway, we got the Neanderthal by Romacraft. <laughs> <laughs> I think Probably the most tame on here. I was going to say, I think yeah. that's the most mild I, I wanted to bring it, back, bring it back a little bit, just take a little break. But apparently, I don't know how true this is. I don't know if someone just made it up, but it's supposed to be shaped like a club. Really? And I think the reason for that, maybe, if this is true, is because the cap is super flat. So maybe that's like what they were going for. I don't know if it's true or not. I just saw that. It, but it doesn't it is, look like a club to me. No. It's basically, but it's a normal cigar, but the cap is just super flat. You know, usually it's like a rounded cap. It's literally flat. So you level. can smoke it like both ways? I mean, you can smoke any cigar both ways. You yourself can attest to that. What? That's the whole point of episode sixty nine is both ways. You know what I mean? We should have smoked our cigars backwards. We should have. Well every Try. other person should have smoked it backwards. True. Yeah, we got we gotta redo this episode. <laughs> Again. Are we even recording right now? God, I hope so. 
Hello, can you see me? Alright, and that's it for our list, but I ended up doing research prior to this episode for once. Wow. Uh, One we, second. Bonus round two. Oh, we don't have a clap button. Not yet. Insert clap here. Okay. I can put it on there. Is that... <laughs> we can't have an episode this one without... Or, or this one reminds me of uh, Grafton, right? The fat patty with onions. <laughs> I would smoke that. that. That sounds delicious. That's a real cigar. It's a San Andreas wrapper. Binder and fillers are from Nicaragua. Mm. So I think that sounds delicious. I, yeah, honestly, yeah. How much is it? <clears throat> that, I do not know. The we research should, only we should make so a cigar far. called The Smash. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. We should make a cigar called The Smash Burger, and it'll be, you know those that acids? Good. That are like really thin, like rectangle. Yeah, and it'll just be like shaped like that. That's a good idea. And the the bun or the band can be like the bun, bun yeah, like yeah. a top bun and a bottom bun. Yeah, yeah. I like it. I like it. By the time you're watching this, it's already copywritten. It's <laughs> trademarked, so you can't do it. Jared, get on that. Sure. Then we then we got a small boutique brand who we have no affiliation with, and just found out on Reddit about it. Uh, I would like to stress the fact that we have no affiliation with this yeah, brand. Yeah, that's why I said it, yeah. Let's see, we got Bunny Draw Beans as the company, <laughs> right? Already the name is turning me off. I always, you- got, I always got a couple of those right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. And then we got their number one cigar on there, the BBW Live. <laughs> BBW. <laughs> That's what it's Funny. called, yeah. And it comes with five singles, right? Or you could get the 10 single. count batty box. So, like, what does that stand for? BBW? Just go on, uh, do me a favor, just go on um, Google <laughs> search, turn off your safety search, and look it up. Nah, so safety search a, is on. I'm going to read these off quick, right? Because there's a bunch. Uh, Bunny Brigade, Soap on a Rope, Raw, Naked, and Uncut. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> Do you smoke it? Uh, wait, we got uh, wait soap on a rope. What does, that, what does that even mean? Soap on a rope. It'd be funny. They should have named it "Drop the Soap." We got Pruno, which is like you know, like toilet wine. You know what I mean? Like that's what it's supposed <laughs> oh. to be. Uh, we got Prison Wallet. Uh, oh God. Turkey Baster. Oh, nice. Okay. Breakfast Burrito. That's cool. That's the only number uh, one. Idiot Repellent. Okay, okay. I like that that's one. That's respectable. Does it work? And then Wabbit Season. That one's funny. That one's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it ma- that makes sense for the name. Yeah, and it's a big cigar. The Wabbit Season? Yeah. Looks like it's probably about 50 ring gauge, but by like, I don't know, seven inches. It's 100 bucks. Eight inches, probably. Drake should come out with a cigar named um, the <laughs> the Tabasco Killer. Oh, I was going to say like the leaks or something. like. <laughs> <laughs> No, because you remember when he um, he got sued because yeah, he put Tabasco in one of his condoms and then the girl put it up there and got had to go to the hospital. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I never do remember that. That's Can you pass bad. me another cigar? He should, he should make one called the Tabasco Killer or another. Okay. So b- back to Room One Hundred One. They they also got the Death Bucket. It's a notable mention. Wow, this is about to be my first punch <laughs> cigar. I think. I think so. Death Bucket. I'm sorry, it's not a. Uh, Punch, sucker, punch, face, smash, but <laughs> close enough. Punch makes some interesting ones, too, like the dad bod. That's true, yeah. That's true. So we got one right here. This is called the fighting cock. Mm. <laughs> right. Same guy? Cigar. <laughs> oh. Fighting cock cigar. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't know. You know, I guess after you get in a fight, it might get swollen. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> They're selling fast, apparently, according to Cigars International. The fighting uh, cocks you work hand in hand with. This one's one of my personal favorites. All my exes. You know, that's a cigar. Live in Texas? <laughs> they got special dish. They actually got a bunch of cigars. Yeah. Hey, uh, what, what are you smoking on? My exes. Ez, Ezra <laughs> Zion. Get yeah. that X pack. <laughs> you know, all my exes live in Texas. You know what I mean? Shout out to my exes in Texas. There's only like one of you, so. No. <laughs> uh, and then this one is kind of funny. That's a teeny peeny. <laughs> <laughs> God. <laughs> and so a ten pack or ten bucks a cigar. <clears throat> so you could get that's a teeny peeny for a hundred bucks for a ten pack. It's so good. no matter the size, there's always value. 
You know, well, it doesn't even tell you the size of the cigar, so it could be a tiny cigar. I feel like you're going to get it, and it's going to be like cigarellos. Yeah. At 10 bucks a piece. And then, you know, of course, they got the pissed off Kristoff. Mm. They got the big spoon, the little spoon, the morning wood. You know, <laughs> just, I mean, there's a bunch. There's a bunch. It goes more. on and on. It goes on. They should make like a Calibra that's only two. And call it the 69. For real. I don't get it. <laughs> Are you serious? The Calibra? You know the one that's three wrapped around that we talked about like 10 minutes oh, ago? Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Now, what's that cigar that they specially made to like smoke? Well, they didn't specially make it, but it's like meant to be smoked backwards too. Forwards or backwards. Uh, There's one that was like made to do that. The drone has one that... I don't think it was necessarily designed to be smoked backwards, but uh, a lot of people smoke it backwards. Oh, is it the flared one? No. So Padron we should... Did, we were talking about the Nasty Fritas, which is kind of designed to smoke either way because the shape is so extreme. Gotcha. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Fratello makes the cigars. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where you turn it around and it's a completely different... Experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The mellow yellow or something like that. Something like that, yeah. They got to release that backwards. Like the labels are backwards, you know. Mm. What do you mean you turn around? I can't smoke it, then turn it around. Right? <laughs> no, you the light it the you other way. The second time you smoke it, you do it the other way. The mellow yellow. That's a funny name, too. So the real challenge would be to, you know, shave off the ash, <clears throat> handle the heat, and smoke it the other way. You could trim off a little bit, you know. You don't have to just go full force into it. However, there's those crazy people that take the cigarettes and like put them out in their tongue. So probably isn't too bad, you know. Well, you don't want to be starting any forest fires. I mean, you saw the smoke that's been out lately. True, dude. There has been a lot of smoke <coughs> out lately. I know. It's us. Jared, Jared brought the California weather with him. <laughs> weather? Yeah, weather. Just always smoky. Unlike California, we actually do control burns here. True. Not to be confused with totally uncontrolled burns. Wow, I was so confused. I'm glad I clarified it for you then. <clears throat> yeah, so those are some those are some fun names. Mark, what are some like weird names you would name a cigar? You've got all the ideas in your head. I'm sure you've thought about it. I don't know. Like put it on the spot. I can't really think of it. I, more of a like a You need to get him a couple more drinks and then he'll comes think of up it. comes up in the moment kind of guy, you know? Ooh, come up in the moment. That may that's a good name for a cigar. Because you know sometimes people smoke cigars in the moment, you know? I think like, I think they always smoke cigars in the moment. No, but like sometimes like it just comes out at random. You know, and, sometimes you're just in the moment. Yeah, I remember one time we randomly started smoking a cigar and Mark put <laughs> down acid. Excuse me. We could put the video clip in here. That's a deep fake. <laughs> this was before deep fakes were a thing. Well, we really. How, how do I know that? He's like, oh, I look so much younger in it. <laughs> uh. How is that possible? <clears throat> Jared, you have a brain, I think. What do you think about naming like a weird cigar? <clears throat> I do something like the roller coaster. <laughs> It'll be like one of those. Uh, what, what is it? The two flavor cigars? <clears throat> the pole barber pole? Yeah, like a barber pole cigar. Name it the roller coaster, mm. and the flavor changes <clears throat> as you smoke it. That's mm. kind of cool. And name. I, I always started doing a barber pole of like two dark cigars. I think it's been done. Has it? Of like a San Andreas and like a Connecticut Broadleaf? What mm. I really want, <clears throat> you know how you buy those bundles for like 100 bucks and they're all different or, you know, whatever description you're pack. on, yeah. sample pack? It'd be nice to have a cigar where it looks the same on the outside, but the filler is mm -hmm. different every single time and the wrapper is different every single time. Mm -hmm. So the flavor is different every single time, but it's all the same color. So you don't know what you're getting. It's randomized. So, like, every cigar for you. <laughs> well, yeah, but it, it comes in a box, and they all look the same. So every time you hand it out, you don't know what you're, you're getting. Mm. So a different wrapper, but the shade is all the same. Yeah. For you, it's easy because you're colorblind. But... Yeah, but I'm trying to give that experience without saying that to everybody. Mm. I got you. Wow, so we'll you, want, you want everyone to be colorblind like you? No, no, no. Just, just the good flavor of a cigar. Look up... Um, um, shoot, what is it called? <clears throat> Cigar. Rob, no, I'm thinking. Uh, I'm forgetting the name right now. 
<clears throat> you know the cigars that come to the boxes? <laughs> yeah, a lot of them do. No, no, no. He makes a unicorn. <laughs> Sokka. Yeah, the, Sokka. The, the, uh, oh, it's like it's one of them stolen valor. The, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, but one uh, of them is like Lancero. One of them is like, sh- all right, you can shut up now. Yeah, this it's a Lancero. New- yeah. Uh, I'll tell you right now. I forget what that series is called. Oh, it's a LMM THA. Uh, THA. It says. Uh, That's a good name. What does that stand for? It, says, it stands for like leave me alone now. Something like that. <clears throat> hmm. What is it again? We'll try and figure it out. Oh, oh! It's now leave me the hell alone. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay. That's a funny yeah. name. That is pretty funny. Then it's, there's it's, a. It's pretty accurate, you know. Because most of the time when you're smoking a cigar, you just want to relax, anyways. That's definitely Jerry's favorite cigar. The, it, it's it's <clears throat> called the GFY Lancero Collection. The Go Fuck Yourself Lancero. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's funny. Such a creative industry that we're in. Marketing off the charts. That's all they got now. True. We've said this multiple times. They gotta start getting really creative. We should start asking him for super lance arrows. And when he's like, what the hell is that? We just gotta be like, yo, if you don't know, you're clearly not a cigar smoker. Just gaslight him into making one. <laughs> That'd be funny. Make a super lance arrow. Okay, yeah. Now he's gotta figure it out. Yeah. We smoke a super lance arrow. That really long one? I don't recall. The really long one would put the base band on it? Oh, yeah. That's not a Lancero. It was thinner, but it's not a Lancero. Yeah, that was, probably, that, thin. that was probably like a, what, 40? I think it was like a 48 six. or a 46. Yeah, mm. I think it was 46. It was just really long. All right, I, I just realized this. Did you update that image recently? No. Not recently. Oh, because it has a Maduro on there? Yeah, I can see it. It's always had that. Interesting. You can tell? I can. Jared's curing his colorblindness? That's insane. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. I'm proud of you, Jared. What are we at? 41. Oh, we didn't even make it to 45 minutes. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's your fault, Zach. Hey, My sometimes fault. it's good to keep them short and sweet. I like it. I think <clears throat> this is a good episode. Yeah. I think it's a good time to cut it. Episode 69 was definitely a banger. Very enjoyable experience with the homies. I mean, pause. Pause. So comment below your favorite name out of all these cigars. We're or, gonna, we're going to go through them real fast again. If we there's got, one that we didn't mention, comment that below too. I'm going to go through them again real fast for the audience. Go we got uh, Opus X Chili Pepper, Opus X uh, Big Bad Motherfucker, Opus X Pussy Juice, uh, Rare Pink Sophisticated Hooker, uh, The Flying Pig, The Nasty Fritus, we got The Fat Bottom Betty, we got The Egg, uh, we got The Double Lajero Chisel, The Nasty As Shit, and then we got Room 101, Who Shot Ya, Send Nudes, and then we got The, oh. a- then, we got the- then we got The A-Bomb. Um, what is it? What? The- uh, Jared's next personal favorite <laughs> one is The Swollen Cock by Caldwell. Oh, wait, wait, you skipped Argyle. A-Bomb. Ar- Ar- Argyle, A-Bomb. Oh, okay. We got Jared's favorite, him. The Swollen Cock by Codwell, Cigar. <laughs> uh, then we got Punch, Sucker Punch, Face Smash. Still my favorite. Uh, Neanderthal. Okay, whatever. My Uzi weighs a ton. And then we got all those other ones. All yeah, those then we got, we got the Fat Patty with Onions, the Teeny Peeny, Pissed Off Kristoff, uh, Big Spoon, Little Spoon, All My Exes, uh, Morning Wood. That's all. That's it. That's all she wrote. Make yep. sure you put and the twenty different ones from rabbit droppings or whatever. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want to talk about nah, those. Yeah, yeah. yeah, just go back and watch it again. So just go ahead and comment your favorite one. Comment some ones that we didn't mention, and we'll see you on the next time. Take care. Bye. We don't have to end it. Like, comment, subscribe, notification. Jared wants to hang longer. Yeah, we can hang longer and. This got really spicy all of a sudden. Is that normal? Uh, I don't know. I don't think that's spicy. Later. <laughs> oh, this is so awkward.
We can literally cut out anything you want. I'm just going to leave this all here. <clears throat> so I was watching uh, uh, Bradley Martin podcast today. I didn't realize he auto, you know, like bleeps out every curse word. He's got to monetize. Yeah. Yeah. Would that help us? <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> We're smoking cigars, so it's dead in the water. Can we, like, put a thing over the cigars, like a, a blur? That would be interpreted natively. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if I want to blur. We put a prime bottle. <laughs> no, no. In no, a few no, months, no. that might be worse. Yeah. I, I was watching the thing. I didn't really watch it all the way, but it was that like, it's in the prime bottle had like bad, like bad chemicals in it or something. Forever chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever the hell that means. <laughs> the chemicals last forever. Uh, I was reading a thing that was saying um, there's so many autistic people now because they're finding microplastics in sperm. Sperm. Yeah. That's another name. Microplastics. Oh. Microplastic cigar. Yeah. Hm. That's crazy. We should name one called the turtle straw. Because <laughs> you know how like you say, like, oh, save the turtles? <laughs> or make, oh. make, it, <laughs> make it save the turtles, the straw edition. <laughs> It'll be in Saros. <laughs> or like that pencil. Oh, no. We got to see if we could make a cigar with a hole in it all the way throughout. Oh, so you're just smoking like a hollowed cigar? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It would burn super quick. Maybe. You'd probably get a crazy draw though. Oh yeah, insane. <laughs> like a like a straw. Yeah. And then see now we have a problem, right? It's gonna be hard to smoke because there's a big gaping hole in the middle. Then we create a solution, a special tip that you have gotta put on it. But they have to buy it separately. Mm. Mm. This is true innovation. Or in or industry. make an even thinner cigar called the insert me. So you could insert it in there. Bro, that's insane. And they're both the same price, so it's like... And, and then you can make them, like, different, like... Oh, dude! Different wrappers. Build so your own cigar? Every time you smoke it, it's a different flavor. Bro. I was thinking that's, like, your way of hiding, you know, acids in the cigar. So when you're smoking one, you have the wrappers different. You could do that, too. You can insert the flavor. We'll work with United for the pencil. So you can put that in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think this could happen. Ideas, ideas. I'm an ideas guy. Interchangeable filler binder. Now you want to come up with ideas after after we end of the podcast. It's still rolling. Is this our bloopers? I'm right leaving here? this all in here. Well, yeah. I mean, in theory, in theory, if you check the group chat, he did mention weird cigar names. What? You mentioned that like a few days ago before we oh, actually came up with this idea. idea. Yeah, that's why we're doing this episode. Jared, we didn't come up with the idea. Mark came up with the idea. Do you think you guys came up with the idea? No, I'm trying to give you credit. I came up with it on the drive here. I literally told you guys, let's do an episode on weird cigar names. He did say that. You asked a question. I think we were the first ones to highlight he weird cigar names. He was asking, can we do this? I think we were the first ones to highlight weird cigar names. Because, you know, I mean, almost everything everybody talks about, but nobody ever talks about the weird ones, you know? Not as extensive as us. For sure. They call us pioneers. We're the pioneer. Hey, we started cigar memes. That's us. If you see a cigar meme, it's because of us. I stand by that. That is true. Yeah, I stand by that. At least the video ones. Yeah. Memes sure. have been a thing forever. Oh, yeah, yeah. People I'm make about, cigar memes, but... I'm talking about, like, the TikToks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. We had people copy us for a while, too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cigar memes... Notice kind of- how we, like, pretty much stopped memes altogether. It's because it's old news. Old news. Like, once everyone else is doing it, we're done. Basically, if we're not doing it, it's not important. That's right. And this is where we're finally going to end it. Okay. I guess. So did you guys hear about that once? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Leave some comments. You know, I know I said that twice, but leave them. Make, make sure to turn your notifications on. And make sure you like. Also, check our social media accounts in the description below. If you made it this far. You might have tuned out when we said bye the first time. Quitters. If you made it this far, you're a real cigar guy. If you made it this this far, loyal fifteen. Ooh, Ooh loyal oh, fifteen. Oh. Base. Well, that's, uh, that's a discount code, right? Yeah, it's a discount code for basiscigar.com. Wow, we're gonna get taken down for that now. <laughs> nah, that's fine. That's it. I don't even think the YouTube mods are gonna stay in that long. All right, thanks guys. See ya. Peace. Peace out. I had something to say, but I forgot. Do you want to like try and remember real quick? <sighs> you got 10 seconds before this cuts off. One.
two. And I'll say off camera. Three. Off camera. All right. See you. Are you sure? Keep going, man. What is this shit going to what is this shit gonna end, man? I'm fucking. Yeah, if this doesn't end, I'm walking out. I'm out of here. I'm walking out right okay. now. Keep going, keep going. All right, now, what were you gonna say about Mark? <laughs> it was an idea, but I don't wanna say it right now. Oh, okay. I thought you were gonna talk shit about Mark. No, no never. I'm, I'm right here, motherfucker. You wanna say shit? Say Yo, he's that shit. BBMF right here. <laughs> All right, cut it. All right. See you guys later. You guys need to off the camera? No! He cut me off! We hope you enjoyed this episode of the Cigar Guys podcast. Make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date with all the latest episodes. Looking for short-form content? Check out all our social media accounts in the description below.